happy kids happy life no stress no problems no nothing so annoyed about that too but i'm not even gonna these days i've really just been avoiding confrontation so bad where i'm just like <laughs> okay great love that for me you know and just letting it slide because i can't i can't i can't hi guys welcome back to my channel so it is night time well it's evening time it's 6 34 p.m i'm home i slept i'm in a way better mood than i was in this morning i feel so much more rested than i did when i woke up at 5 a.m this morning because last night was just a shit show of a sleeping mess and honestly I was struggling okay anyways like i said it's nighttime evening time or whatever i decided to come home and before i did anything else i washed up and i slept for an hour and a half normally a power nap of like 30 minutes will really get you in the mood and get you together so i figured that an hour and a half would really set me straight and you know put me in a good rested position for the day ahead tomorrow i have to wake up at five o'clock again however because i slept at what is that? Because I slept for an hour and a half. Whatever amount of sleep I get tonight is gonna be added to that and we're doing the calculations here. God, I hope I sleep good tonight and don't wake up at 2 a.m. because honestly, that is very, very frustrating. So I'm wondering if I should just wait to go to sleep later. Oh, I'm really struggling out here with this sleep thing. Like this morning, I felt so bad to the point where I felt like I need to get some sleep gummies or something, something to help me sleep. But then too, I was kind of afraid because I'm like, normally when you get sleep aids like that, you will sleep, you will oversleep. And I didn't really want that. So I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm really struggling. Along with the fact that I'm struggling to find a computer for my daughter because, you know, online school and the computer broke. And I'm trying to get her little things that does not make sense, but she's a child and she wants them still. And I'm her mom and I want to make her happy. So it's just a lot that is currently going on. And I'm sitting down watching TV right now because I feel good, I feel rested, and I'm in a good mood. Why I'm not stressing myself too much or why I'm not too hard on myself is because today is Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday, I work tomorrow. I'm scheduled to work the weekend, but I'm gonna call out both weekend days because plans were made. And I really hope that whatever the plan is, I enjoy it because I'm gonna be very upset that I missed work to do something that I didn't enjoy. And that is if I don't enjoy it, which I don't see why I wouldn't because I'm really just excited to just get away, honestly. So that's that. But um, because I'm not gonna be going to work Saturday, tomorrow when I come home, I can really relax and unwind, and it's gonna be great. Speaking it into um, existence. When I came home, what did I eat for dinner? I ate an apple and an ice cream sandwich, because that's really what I felt for. Today I had a burger at work for lunch, and that was really, really filling, and my lunch time was one o'clock to two o'clock so i feel like i'm still pretty full from that so i really wanted to just eat light i had a call scheduled with my personal trainer but he um said he's a little bit caught up right now so i told him to just text me but when i left work i texted him and i was just like listen bro text call me at 6 30 because i'm gonna go to sleep and i do not want anybody calling this phone i got some messages that i didn't even attempt to reply to when I got home. I'm telling you guys, the way how I was tired and I wanted to sleep, <clears throat> I wanted to sleep at work on my lunch time, but then the sleep just was not there and there's a chance that that was me because I just ate the burger. So I'm like, all right, this is the new plan. I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna sleep. So I did not want anything getting in the way of that and I slept. And when I woke up at 5.30, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I could really sleep again for a little bit longer. But if I did that, then, you know, I didn't want to wake up at some crazy time, like 10, 11 o'clock and can't go back to sleep because that would have been much worse than waking up at 2 a.m. and I can't go back to sleep. Or maybe not, I don't know. But I know that that was not what I wanted. So I'm up, I've been unwinding and watching some YouTube videos and that's really all I've honestly been up to since I got home. When I was coming home, I took a shot of just the leaves falling and everything and they were so pretty. I'm gonna insert it here so you guys can see.
yeah, that's pretty much a rundown of my evening right now. It's 6.30. I don't have anything else going on. Nothing planned but to look for some things online. And that is not nothing interesting for you guys. So I'm going to go do that off camera and I will see you guys when I see you. Hi guys, it's me again a little bit later. So I decided that I was going to go in literally just now. Like I'm so... Sometimes I really don't understand myself. I decided that I was going to go in and like cut my nails a little bit shorter and rub them down before they were longer but i decided that listen i'm gonna rub them down from now because what i want to do tomorrow is i want to polish my nails and stuff i said i was gonna do it a couple of days ago and that didn't end up happening i kind of like stripped some of the polish off right now this thing looks so ghetto okay because currently only the big toes have nail polish on them I'm definitely going to put back white polish on them, but for my nails, I'm going to put a nude that looks like my skin tone on. <clears throat> and I'm very excited about that because I had it on, I think, two weeks ago, and I absolutely loved it. I'm going to put a picture here so you guys can see what that looked like. So that's what I'm going to be putting on again, and currently the nails are shorter. What happened was I was going through Instagram, and I seen this girl's nails, and they were kind of short like this and white, and I feel like I'm always so all over the place with my nails which is exactly why I do them a little bit longer to begin with. And then I'll like refill them maybe twice when they're still long. And then after refilling them twice long, I'll rub them down shorter and then I'll refill them like that and like probably let them grow out or whatever or until I take them off because I like options and the only way to get options with things like this is if I do them long first and then cut them down as like time progresses or whatever. But I really like how they look right now tomorrow. I'm going to go in. They don't need to be filled right now. They just, yeah, because I filled them like last week. So I just need to take the polish off and put the polish on that I'm going to put on there. I don't want to do that tonight because I'm probably going to go to sleep soon and they are going to be smudged and I'm not really in the mood to deal with all of that. So I will leave them as is for right now and then tomorrow when I come home from work, I'll take them off. I'm wondering if I want to go on the avenue tomorrow. I definitely have something in my cart that I want to purchase from Target, which is a laptop for my daughter because I found one. I'm getting her some headphones. I'm, I'm wondering if I should just get her the, the big ones that you put over your head because normally when I get her the little ones on the strings, those go bad so quickly. So I might end up getting her the bigger ones and still get her a pair of the small ones because I've seen a pair on Target for $5.99. So I think I might get her that as well. And um, just so she, you know, has enough to go around. And I had some clothes in my cart. And honestly, that child does not need any more clothes. The last time when my mom was here, which is like two months ago or three, I sent clothes for her. And she still hasn't even gotten those yet. And I bought them a little bit bigger. So I don't need to send her any more clothes right now. What I want is like um, some pairs of like slides or slippers is what we call them in Jamaica. So I need to get her some pairs of slippers and I'm going to buy them a little bit bigger so she has time to like grow into them, which is the plan. I sent two pairs of shoes down for her the other day, but she did not get those and I don't know what's going to happen with them. So annoyed about that too, but I'm not even going to... These days I've really just been avoiding confrontation so bad where I'm just like, <laughs> okay, great. Love that for me, you know? And just letting it slide because I can't, I can't, I can't. So that's what's up. So, um, yeah, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to order the stuff that I found on Shein right now because the last time I bought some stuff for her on Shein and I was really impressed with the quality, especially of the slides that I had bought, the slippers that I had bought her, um, that time. It was really, really cute and the quality was really good. So I'm trying to buy her two more pairs on there right now and, um, just some little things here and there. And then I'm going to buy the computer and I think that should be it for the shopping. Oh, she said she needed Play-Doh. God. So I need to get her, get her that too. But for the most part, that is pretty much all I'm going to need to be buying for right now. Because, uh, listen, when you have kids, you be spending so much all the time. And most times it's on like the smallest things. Because obviously, they always want the smallest things that just does not make any sense to you. But, you know, obviously makes them absolutely happy and that is the goal as a parent to make sure that the kids are happy happy kids happy life you know how they say happy life happy life happy kids happy life no stress no problems no nothing but I, oh i also want to get her some fifth grade or one actually fifth grade math book on on amazon i think i might get a fifth grade and a sixth grade because 
um my mom is gonna be packing a barrel so you know she'll have that for the following year or to like start practicing some math work in because she's not the best at math and she always complains about it so that should help her so i'm gonna get her too so i probably need to figure out what i'm doing if i want to buy them now if i want to buy them a little bit later on i could buy them a little bit later on but the computer the laptop i'm definitely gonna buy that tomorrow and have them deliver it the same day because I'm not going to wait until the last minute and they're currently having a sale on it now. I should probably buy that thing right now. Oh, but then I'm not going to get it tonight. So I'll buy it tomorrow. I set a, a reminder on my phone to buy it at 2.30 so that by the time I get home, or maybe I should buy it at 3 o'clock so that by the time I get home, you know, they should be coming with the delivery or whatever. But that is what I have planned. But I think I'm going to wrap up this vlog here. This was a very chill, just me up and down in here like a day in my life, you know, after work, what I do. Anyways. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog where I'll be, you know, doing some girly stuff, some self-care hand. Bye, you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Like I said.